I'm Kanade. I'm in fifth grade. Since I'm going to junior high soon, I want to eat more and grow more. Yes, we're having meatloaf today. My favorite. Itadakimasu. Wait a minute. Isn't my meatloaf smaller than Kanade Chang's? What? That's not fair. I'm starving. This is my fellow classmate, Mia chan Like me, she's in charge of taking care of animals. She seems to love eating. How about we trade? Really? Yay! But you love meatloaf, are you sure? This is Altakun. He's my childhood friend. He's really kind and always makes sure that I'm okay. It's so good! Yup! You guys are really close. You're together all the time. Well, we've known each other since we were little. We're good friends. He's right. Hmm. I was wondering why you guys get along. I mean, Kanada's clumsy and Otaku's really good at sports. Huh. What's wrong, Mew? It just came to my mind that meatloaf is made from cows and pigs. It's so sad to eat animals. What? Uh, I'm sure cows and pigs weren't born wanting to become a meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sad? I never even thought about that. You have a kind heart, Mew. Really? It's normal. Animals are so cute. That's why you're in charge of taking care of animals. Because you love them? Yep. The animals are small like fairies and super cute. I see. I like animals too, but it's hard taking care of them. Really? I guess we had something in common. I'm so happy. You know, Kanade's the same too, just like you. Yep, we have a dog named Bunny at home too. He's really cute. Oh, really? You're in charge of walking, giving food. You do everything by yourself, right? Yep, Bunny says he loves roast beef. Dogs talk? Oh, whatever. Yeah, Poonie is cute. Well, I'm done eating, so I'll be going now. Kanade, meet up with me later so we could play. Thanks, Altaku. Do you like dogs, Mia? Not really. I'm more of a cat person, so let's talk about something else. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I can't believe you love animals and still eat meat. The number of animals are going to reduce. I'm scared. Animals are going to be gone if we eat meat. I don't want that happening. Mm. Oh, I forgot. We're going to feed the rabbits after lunch. Don't be late. Uh, okay. After lunch, Mia Chang's words continued to be stuck on my mind. I'm the one eating and reducing animals. That's a bad thing, right? Hey, you're late. How long are you going to make me wait? Uh, I'm sorry. I couldn't eat so fast. I don't want to hear your excuses. Could you please go into the shed and clean up? I'll get the food for the rabbits. Okay. Make sure you change the waters too. I'm sure the rabbits would want to eat in a clean place with clean water. The rabbits are eating vegetables, so they're not doing anything bad. Wait a minute. I eat meat. Animals might be afraid of me. A few minutes later. Kanada Chang, are you done with cleaning and changing waters? Yep, I'm done. Then get out of my way. There's no room for me to get in. I'm sure the rabbits are starving. Whoa, d don't push. You're in my way. Hey, Kanade. Oh, Altaka. Altaka, you came? You want to try feeding the rabbits too? What? You're going to let me? Wow, the shed's really clean. Yep, I cleaned it. What? Kanade's clumsy and slow at doing things, so I'm the leader. Really? That's awesome to be the leader. What's wrong, Kanade? Um, Kanade chan, Altakun's going to feed the rabbits, so go check if they have more food. Kanade seems a little down. She even only ate half of her meatloaf. Hmm. Hey, Altakun, you know my dream is to have a tea party with the animals? Wow, that seems fun. I'm going to become a vegetarian starting from today. I'm sure the animals would love me even more. I'm back. Here you go, Altaku. Thanks. Kanajang loves meat, so I'm sure it would be impossible for her. What are you talking about? Nothing. It's a secret between me and Altaku. 
What? Why don't you tell her? No, I don't want her laughing at my dreams. It's going to make me sad. Kanari's not like that. She's just acting cute in front of you. Th that's not true. But you eat meat, don't you? You know people who eat meat tend to get more violent? R really? Meat makes you become violent? I guess I shouldn't eat meat anymore. The animal's being eaten, but you? Just thinking about it makes me sad. And after that, even at home, every time I eat meat, these words would pop into my mind. I don't feel like eating. What's wrong, Kanade? Nothing. My appetite began to decrease more and more and my parents started to worry about me. And then one day, my parents suggested we have a barbecue over the weekend. You should invite alta kun too! You don't seem to be eating much lately, so we planned it together. Oh really? Thanks, I'll ask him. And so at school, I invited alta kun at a barbecue, but... If alta kuns coming, I want to come too. Can I? You're coming too? I thought you said you were a vegetarian. They have veggies at barbecue, don't they? I'll be alright. On the day of the barbecue, after Altokun and Mia Chan came over to the house, we headed for the barbecue venue. Let's go! We brought tons of meat with us. Yay! Yay! The barbecue venue was crowded with people. So what would you like to have? I'm a vegetarian, so I would like some veggies, please. Oh, really? So the reason you don't eat meat is because your mom also doesn't eat meat? No, I don't eat meat because I feel sorry for the animals. You have a kind heart. Well, eat whatever you like. Kanade, you like meat, don't you? Otaku, don't be shy and eat as much as you want. Alright. Oh yeah, did you bring Puni? I'm here, Puni. I'm going to eat meat, Puni. <laughs> is he really a dog? He's talking. Oh, whatever. Kanade, you like meat? I thought you said you loved animals. Um, well, well... How cruel. Uh, um, Mom, I'm going to have veggies too. What's wrong? Do you have a stomachache? No, um, I'll have some meat later. Maybe she really doesn't feel so well. I don't know. Let's just make sure we have them ready when she feels like eating. She doesn't seem to be doing well, Puni. Come to think of it, she hasn't really been herself at school either. Really? Yup, especially during lunch. What? But she said herself she wanted to eat a lot so she could get bigger. And I'm sure she doesn't hate lunch either. Really? She hasn't been finishing her lunch lately, though. <clears throat> it's so good. Let me try this too. Wait, oh crap, there's not much left. Kana the Chang, could I have a moment? Wh what's the matter? Could you trade my plate with yours? Yours has more. It's not fair. But... but mine has meat? Do you want to eat meat that much? Just trade with me. Animals can't live in peace with people like you're around. I'm sure we had tons of meat there. Don't tell me. Hey? Where did all the grilled meat go? Puni? I feel offended, Puni? I haven't had any Puni? Then who? I saw Kanade Chang eating. Um, he was eating tons of meat. I feel sorry for the animals. Th that's not true. Mew Chang was. What are you talking about? I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat meat. But, but you were eating like that one. Hey, Miyu, don't lie. I saw you. What? What are you talking about? I haven't had any meat. But you're eating it. Straight. What are you talking about? See, I'm only eating veggies. But that's Kanade's plate, isn't it? If there's only meat left, that means you ate it. How do you know? Because that plate is Kanade's favorite. It has puni on it. Huh? And on top of that, it's Kanade's favorite color, pink. I'm sure because I'm the one who gave that plate to Kanade. And by the way, you say you're a veggie whatever, but you're eating chicken at school. What? Th that's because... Chickens aren't cute, so it's okay to eat them. Of course it's not okay. Chickens are animals too. You're making Kanade eat all the veggies. Don't trouble her like that. 
I'm not doing such a thing. I'm just saying the truth because I feel sorry for the animals. No, 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 no. You two calm down. If you want to eat meat, go ahead and eat up. She's right. We bought the meat so we could all eat. You're welcome to eat too, Miyu-chan. But don't hog it all to yourself, Puni. There won't be any left for me, Puni. Like Puni says, we all have to share. I, I just, I just warned Kanada chan because I thought sorry for the animals. What the? Are you going to be mean to Kanadi again? You know it's worth for the animals to be picky eater and waste food like that. Uh, Otaku, it's all right. No, it's not. You've been really down lately. Th that's because if I eat meat, the animals are going to be gone. Mew Chung taught me that, and when I heard about it, it just made me feel bad. Well then, how about you try being kind to the animals every time you eat? If I do that, I won't be reducing animals? Yup. And on top of that, animals give us energy necessary to us. You say itadakimasu when you eat, don't you? Yeah. Then I'm sure the animals understand that you appreciate their meat, so try to finish all your food. Why are you always just mean to Kanade, Miyu? Th that's not true. Yes, it is. I know everything. Let's hang out over there, Kanade. Do you have some kind of reason? If you can tell everyone, just tell me in secret. Um, to tell you the truth, I have a curse on Altakun, and I wanted him to notice me, so... Kana the Chung's skinny and cute, and she's always with Altakun. But I'm fat. I eat about the same amount as her. I just don't understand why. Oh, are you guys already at that age? Kanade moves as much as she eats, so why don't you go play with Kanade? Then I could be like her? She loves to play tag especially. Ask her to play sometime. I mean, you know, Kanade. She's very shy. Okay, thanks. Oh, this conversation is just between us. Of course. I won't tell anyone. Why don't you go make up with Kanade first? Uh, uh, but, but she may not forgive me. <laughs> I know you'll be fine, and I'm sure Altakun likes girls who are honest. I'll go with you, Puni! Okay, I'll go apologize. Kanada chan, um, I'm sorry for being mean to you. I know I troubled you. That's alright. I want to get to know you more, too. I mean, we both love animals. Oh, good. You guys finally made up? Don't fight anymore, alright? Alright, now that we all made up, let's eat. Thanks for paying attention to Kanade, Elta-kun. She needs looking out. After that, Mia chan and I became friends and I no longer stressed over school. Your appetite seems to be back. I was so worried. Come on, eat more. Yep, I'm going to eat tons and grow. Even at school, I would remember the talk we had during barbecue, and I would clean my plate even if I had something I didn't like during lunch. Kanade, train my carrot with your peppers. You hate peppers, right? No, Altakun, don't be picky. Oh, come on, why not? We had a lot of things happen between us, but even in middle school, we continued being friends. Mia have you lost weight? Yep, this year I'm going to be like you for sure, so I'm moving as much as I can. By the way, you're going to be on the committee taking care of animals, right? Let's do it together. Sure. This time, I'm going to help you out a lot. And so, Mia Chung took her job more seriously and really started taking care of animals. And I came to like animals even more.